The Dish Network and DirecTV merger has been a hot topic. Both companies are struggling. Combining could save them. But creditors of Dish aren't happy. They think the deal undervalues their holdings. This all started with a proposal from DirecTV. They want to buy Dish. But the offer isn't sitting well with those who loaned Dish money. The problem? The merger would wipe out billions in debt. Creditors would get pennies on the dollar. They say this isn't fair. They want a better deal. The heart of the issue is a staggering $1.6 billion loss. This financial black hole has sent shockwaves through the corporate world, raising alarms among stakeholders. The proposed merger, which was initially seen as a strategic move to streamline operations and cut costs, would leave creditors shouldering this immense burden. Creditors argue that this is unacceptable. They believe that the financial responsibility should be more evenly distributed, rather than being dumped on their shoulders. Why should they bear the brunt of the merger's cost-saving measures? They question the fairness of a deal that seems to benefit the companies at the expense of those who finance their growth. Their loans were instrumental in building Dish Network into the powerhouse it is today. Without their financial support, many of the company's achievements would not have been possible. Now, they feel left out in the cold, abandoned by the very entity they helped to build. The sense of betrayal is palpable. This situation highlights a key aspect of mergers and acquisitions that is often overlooked. It's not just about the companies involved in the deal. The ripple effects extend far beyond the boardrooms and executive offices. Creditors, those who provide the financial lifeblood, have a significant stake in the outcome. Their voices and concerns need to be heard and addressed. They are not just passive observers, but active participants in the financial ecosystem. And in this case, they're saying no. They are standing up for their rights and demanding a fairer deal. The outcome of this dispute could set a precedent for future mergers and acquisitions, emphasizing the importance of considering all stakeholders. Unwilling to accept DirecTV's proposal, the bondholders countered. Their solution? Adjust the debt exchange contingent on the merger. This counteroffer aimed to protect their investments. They proposed a structure that would lessen their losses. The ball was now in DirecTV's court. The pressure was on DirecTV to respond. Would they see the creditor's point of view, or would they stick to their guns? The future of the merger hung in the balance. The news came swiftly. DirecTV rejected the counteroffer. They deemed it unacceptable. This decision further fueled the tension between the two sides. DirecTV argued that the counteroffer didn't align with their financial goals. They believed their initial proposal was fair. The creditors, however, vehemently disagreed. This impasse highlighted the challenges of merging two large entities. Competing interests and financial complexities can easily derail even the most promising deals. Section 5. The Looming $8.9 Billion Debt this is a critical juncture for Dish Network, as they face a monumental financial challenge. Adding another layer of complexity to this corporate chess match is the $8.9 billion in outstanding notes. This debt isn't just a number, it's a significant burden that impacts every strategic decision the company makes. These notes represent a significant financial obligation for Dish Network. The company must navigate this debt carefully to avoid any potential pitfalls that could jeopardize its future. These bondholders holding this massive debt are watching closely. They are keenly aware of the stakes involved and are monitoring every move Dish Network makes. They wield considerable influence. Their approval or disapproval can significantly impact the company's ability to move forward with any major plans, including potential mergers or acquisitions. Their decisions could make or break the merger. The bondholders' confidence in Dish Network's ability to manage this debt is crucial for any future deals. DirecTV can't ignore this looming debt. As a potential merger partner, they must consider the implications of taking on such a substantial financial burden. It's a major factor in their calculations. 
Every financial model and projection must account for this debt, making the merger a complex and delicate negotiation. They need to find a solution that satisfies the bondholders. This means crafting a deal that not only benefits both companies, but also reassures the bondholders of their investment security. Otherwise, the deal is dead in the water. Without a viable plan to address the debt, the merger could fall apart, leaving both companies to face the consequences alone. Section 6. DirecTV's Options – A Crossroads With the rejection of the counteroffer, DirecTV faces a critical juncture. They must choose their next move carefully. The stakes are high. Three primary options lay before them. Each comes with its own set of risks and rewards. The future of both DirecTV and Dish Network hangs in the balance. Let's explore each of these options in detail. The decisions made in the coming weeks will have far-reaching consequences. Section 7. The Path of Negotiation The first option for DirecTV is to return to the negotiating table. This path requires compromise. Both sides must be willing to give a little. DirecTV could sweeten the deal slightly for the creditors. Perhaps they offer a higher payout or better terms. This gesture of goodwill might be enough to get everyone back on board. Negotiation, while challenging, offers the most amicable solution. It keeps the merger alive and avoids a protracted legal battle. It's the path of least resistance. Section 8. The Premium Acquisition The second option is a bolder move. Acquire Dish Network at a premium. This strategy involves paying a higher price up front. By offering a premium, DirecTV could entice the creditors to accept the deal. The increased payout might outweigh their concerns about the initial proposal. This option demonstrates strength and decisiveness. It sends a clear message. DirecTV is serious about this merger. However, it also comes with a hefty price tag. Section 9. The Spectre of Litigation The final option, and the least desirable, is litigation. This is the path that many dread, as it involves taking